So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of particle logo animation with using trap code plugin. Guys, it's beautiful and amazing tutorial. So guys, I create new composition and composition name, guys, I take main com and guys, preset full HD frame, guys, duration 15 seconds is good for me. So press OK. Yeah. And next one, guys, import your logo. So guys, that's my logo. So drag and drop on main com like this. And I change scale size. I like 50. See guys, that's my PNG format file. That's my simple logo, right? Okay, so now, guys, right click and create pre-composition. And guys, move all our attribute check. And composition name, guys, take logo and press OK. Yes. And guys, double click on this logo. So next one, guys, I create shape tool. So use ellipse tool, this one. So create circle. So holding shift key, drag and drop, simple. Right, I create circle. Okay, so now guys go to an align and align on mid. So next one, guys, go to on fail, guys, fail, uncheck this one, none, and create stroke, guys, stroke like 40. Yeah, that's my stroke. Okay, so now guys, go to an ellipse and stroke one. I see that's my stroke width check on zero frame. And guys, this time I go to on like 10 second, 10, and stroke breath, I like 20. Enter. So guys, go to back and play. Okay. So now, next one, guys, I create scale size animation. So press S letter, and guys, zero frame. Check, guys, scale size like zero. And now, guys, go to on 10 second, same, and scale size increase like this. Guys, more like 200. Yeah. So, guys, go to back and play. Yes. See, guys, that's my shape. And now, guys, go to one here. That's my alpha mat. Yes. Okay. So, guys, go to back and play. That's my masking. Right. Okay. So, now, guys, go to one main com here. And go to one switch mode. Guys, create 3D here. 3D. Yes. And hide. So next one, guys, I create new solid layer, solid layer particle, and press OK. Yes. So guys, select this particle layer, and this time apply trap code particular this one. Yes. And now, guys, go to an emitter. Guys, see that's my emitter type. I use layer, and emitter layer. So layer this one logo this one. Yes, and guys, I increase this particle, this one, that's my particle count, like 2 and 5 times 0, 3, 4, 5, enter. See guys, that's my particle. Okay, so guys, go to back and play. Yeah, and now guys, I change this one velocity here. Velocity, I like half, like 50 is good for me. Yes. Okay, so guys, it's good. And guys, Go to one particle, particle life 3 is good, and random, life random increase like 100. That's my random, and feather, guys, feather 0. Yeah, good, great. And see, guys, that's my size, size little bit change like 4. Yes, and guys, go to one like 7 second. Yes, that's my particle. Okay, so now, guys, go to one here. Life random, I take 100%. Guys, size random, I take 100%. Yeah. And size over life, guys, I change preset. This one. Presets like this. Yeah. Guys, go to back and play. Guys, I change resolution. I use auto for fast render preview. See, guys, that's my simple particles. Okay. So, next one, guys, go to one shading. 
so guys main to change off the and guys go to our physics see guys that's my gravity so i change gravity like randomly like 200 enter yes so guys go to back and play i see that's my gravity particle logo it's really good okay so now guys go to on here here and see guys that's my wind so guys i change this one wind axis guys go to on y axis i change guys y axis like 400 minus 400 and z1 that's my z axis yes guys like minus thousand enter yeah so guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my particle new style of particle effects right okay so next one guys go to on trouble here and effect size i like five and position this one position i like guys take randomly like 500 and again go to back and play yes see guys that's my simple particle okay so guys also change the scale size like 5 yes much better so guys go to back and play okay see guys that's my simple phagex effect so now guys apply off system this one and guys stop guys go to our emit to use Conveniently, yeah guys firstly color from in i take 100 percent yes and see guys that's my particle particle i like 100 enter this one yes so guys little bit change this key yeah that's my particle guys feather feather that's my blur effect so use zero and guys i change size this one size i like guys take like two is good for me yes and guys this one particle velocity i like one is good yeah and life that's my particle life i like one great right okay so now next one size over life here so guys i change same presets i like this one yes guys i change resolution like full for better render preview yes okay so see guys that's my simple particle and now go to back and play yeah really good okay so guys go to our frame like six second and guys i apply this time sharp effect and next one glow effect so go to our effect and preset and i sharpen select and apply on particle layer particle and guys go to on here arc system old and guys sharp like 50 yes much better and apply next time glow glow select and apply yes guys threshold are like 80 and guys radius like 50 yes and intensity are like 2 for better glow effect yes see guys that's my really cool glow effect guys i changed resolution so guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my new style of particle animation right okay so now guys it's really good and next one guys i create simple background so use solid layer and like bg so guys go to one last and this time guys apply ramp effect select this gradient ramp and apply on bg and guys i take dark pink color dark pink yes like h i'll take i take like 340 and s 100 percent and b guys take dark yes good and guys i change this ram shape so guys go to our mid guys this one start color same change and like this guys this one little bit more darker yes good see guys that's my simple background yes it's really beautiful okay so now next one guys i apply light so right click 
guys take new solid layer and layer name light so press ok let's go to down guys this time i apply optical flare light this one that's my optical flare so guys go to on here presets guys i have some presets like this yeah that's my optical flare and guys i change this light color that's my default red and i change color like pink yes good okay so now guys select this light and i change mode add guys duplicate this light so press ctrl d yeah and select this optical flare apply on right side yes okay so guys my all particle animation is finished and lastly guys go to on project and see guys that's my logo create duplicate so press ctrl d that's my logo too right that's my logo too and now double click on this logo see guys that's my logo too and i change this shape so guys go to on fill here fill and fill to use this one solid color and stroke none yes that's it guys right and now guys this time i apply blur effect blur use gaussian blur and apply on shape layer and blur guys blur like 50 is good yes and guys go to our main comp and go to on here that's our project select this logo to drag and drop on here yes and guys go to on like one second and shift layer like this yes okay so guys use auto and go to back and play guys take a little bit time for preview so i change this half and go to back and play yes see guys that's my final effect it's really beautiful guys that's my final one guys take a little bit time for render preview so guys i change full for better view so guys i quit increase this frame framing yes see guys that's my final one so fit 200 percent check and increase frame like this yes okay so guys that's it my final animation is finished that's my final one so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this template from my website it's free thank you